Hello, I am the punk patriot. You know what really pisses me off? Liberals. Now don't get me wrong, my fellow arugula and hummus on homemade bread eating friends. Actually, I mean it. Uh, arugula and hummus on homemade bread. But it's, I'm still eating them. They're pretty good, actually. Now listen, I'm one of you, but it's time for some tough love. Guys, you're the ones who are the problem. You're the ones standing in the way of your own progress. Now, let me explain. Senator Wellstone once said that if we don't fight hard enough for the things we stand for, there comes a point where we have to realize we don't stand for them. Now, liberals, progressives, you're a bunch of whiny, spineless cowards who vote based on fear of losing an election rather than on any sort of principles. You whine about all these abstractions like the media and the government, but it's the government's fault. And the system, the system is down. The system is down. But seriously, ultimately it comes down to you. You keep on voting for people who don't stand for the things that you want. For instance, Barack Obama, pro-nuclear, pro-coal, pro-NAFTA, pro-WTO, pro-tort reform. Like, that's a Republican thing. He voted for the FISA bill. He voted for telecom immunity. Obama is opposed to single-payer universal health care. He has voted to fund the war that he supposedly opposed. He supports clean coal and safe nuclear and existing unicorns. Okay, well, not really the unicorns. His tax policy is better than McCain's, but it's still less progressive than Richard Nixon's. He has voted for the bailout, stealing from the poor and giving to the rich. He voted to reauthorize the USA Patriot Act. Hello? When are you guys gonna start nominating people who actually stand for what you believe in? What is wrong with you? Now you guys like to complain about all the right things, civil liberties, environmentalism, corporate personhood, media consolidation. You guys will whine all day long, but when it comes to showing up to doing the work that's required to get any of those things done, you guys are absent. I don't know where you guys are, but it's not happening. You're a bunch of lazy whiners, but it's the government's fault. Even when it comes to the relatively painless act of voting, you guys can't even get that right. You agree with people like Dennis Kucinich, who you failed to nominate in the Democratic primary, and Mike Gravel, who you also failed to nominate. You agree with people like Ralph Nader, Cynthia McKinney, on all of their platform issues, but you fail every election to vote for people like them. You don't even have the follow through to vote for the platform that you want. You're a bunch of lazy whiners. How do you expect to get what you want from the government until you start to vote for it and to work for it and to donate towards it. Liberals and progressives, you keep ending up voting for people like Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, even though they don't support you on your issues. And when other people who aren't you decide that they're gonna vote for candidates that actually support your own platform, your own espoused beliefs that you supposedly stand for, you bitch them out. What is wrong with you? But it's the government's fault. Until you guys grow some balls and stand up for yourselves, volunteering, donating your money to campaigns and causes, social justice, and voting in the voting booth for people who actually support your platform issues, we're never gonna see any progress in this country. And it's your fault. When I was working for Dennis Kucinich's campaign, I was talking with this one Mike Huckabee supporter. It was election day in New Hampshire. We were both talking about how canvassing had been going. I was talking about how we didn't really have a problem of name recognition with Dennis Kucinich. Everybody had heard of him. Everybody loved him in the debates. But they didn't want to vote for him because they felt he didn't have a chance. And the Mike Huckabee supporter said, well, that's a bag of crap. That whole he doesn't have a chance thing. If you find a guy and you agree with him, then you just got to work hard for him. If you don't think he's got a chance, you just got to work harder. Why do conservatives get this, but liberals don't? In short, the lack of progress we've seen in the past 30 years has been a result of you, not the Republicans. This has been a message from the Punk Patriot, signing off.
patriot cred. Where does the punk part come in? Mm, bitter leafies. <laughs>